Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to change a drive loader using the disk partition utility in Windows. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu, type in CMD, best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now, the first thing you want to do is type in disk part, so D-I-S-K, P-A-R-T, all one word. Hit enter on your keyboard. Now, you want to go ahead and type in list, L-I-S-T, volume, V-O-L-U-M-E. Hit enter on your keyboard. So, let's say volume 3 is the one I want to rename here. So, we're going to go select that. So select volume 3 again it's going to depend on what volume you want to change here the system reserve I'm not sure if you can actually change that drive letter I don't believe you can so just keep that in mind but we're going to select volume 3 here so select volume 3 if you want to select volume 2 volume 1 I mean obviously this will depend on a case by case basis here but just alternate the 3 out with your respective volume number hit enter on your keyboard now that volume 3 is the selected volume, we want to go assign a letter, so type in assign, so A-S-S-I-G-N space letter equals, and now you type in a letter, so whatever letter that's not currently being used up, you can see this column here, as long as it's not a letter already in here, so again, assign space letter equals, and then type a letter, so let's call it letter T, and then hit enter on your keyboard should say successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point. You can see our new volume is now being recognized as T. The name of the drive is new volume. It wasn't very creative, but if you had a different name for it, it would just say that instead, and then it would have in parentheses what letter the new drive was. So just to show everybody it worked all right, I'm gonna go open a file explorer here, and we go underneath this PC. You can also see the new volume showing up underneath our quick access menu as well. But we have our volume, and it's a T drive now. I believe it was the E drive previously. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. Once you're done with this, go ahead and just type in exit, so E-X-I-T. Hit enter to exit the disk partition utility. And then you can type exit again, or just close out of the command prompt, whatever you prefer. And that's pretty much it, guys. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.